Pal are women percussionists who performed in Mumbai last week. And successfully, if I may say so, storming the male bastion of Indian percussion. Pooja Lara reports on Sri Shakti. Anuradha Pal is an Indian classical musician. However, she is not a vocalist. She does not play the tanpura nor the sitar. In fact, she plays an instrument that not many women do, the tabla. Disciple of maestros like Ustad Allah Rakha and Ustad Zakir Hussain, Anuradha is something of an oddity in a world populated by only men. And according to her, the much revered world of classical music does have its share of gender bias. No matter how you, what you say, men come with a certain bias in their mind. Oh, she's a girl, she'll be just okay. When I first started off playing, and the first time I wanted to accompany a maestro, and he, in fact, he asked me, he said, would you play with me in this concert? I said, sure. So he said, okay, uh, the first part, that's the slower part, you play, and the next part, the faster part, um, the truth part, somebody else will play. And I said, why so? So he, I said, can I not play that part? I mean, can I not play as fast? What's the problem? So he said, no, it's not a question of playing fast. You can play that very well. But it doesn't feel nice to make a female work that hard. Working hard, though, comes easy to Anuradha. Last week, she organized an all-woman percussion concert called Sri Shakti in Mumbai. Sukanya Ram Gopal on the Katam and Lata Ramachar on the Kanjira, along with Anuradha on the Tabla, held a select audience spellbound. And it's about time, too. I found this whole group of people that were, I mean, these three uh, percussionists who were, in my opinion, as good as any other male performers. They were as talented, as good, as, uh, you know, so I just wanted to, by us uniting together, it was to make a statement that this is our Shakti, Sri Shakti. Sri Shakti marks the powerful talents of both Sukanya, disciple of the Khatam maestro Vikku Vinayakaran, and Lata, who studied the Kanjira under her own father, the renowned H.P. Ramachar. I, myself, I'm very happy that we did him very well. Uh, that our program has came very well. I'm remembering my papa. If my papa is there, I would have told, instead of you, we did very well. <laughs> Anuradha has been playing the tabla for more than 10 years now. She mostly accompanies maestros like Ustad Sultan Khan and Ustad Zafir Hussain. While she concedes that a student of music can never stop learning, she does wish that the world of classical music was more open-minded. That, she feels, will pave the way for women percussionists to rise above the prevalent gender bias. Do you think... Uh... Uh, the instrument, uh, no, whether uh, a man is playing it or a woman is playing it, I don't think so. <laughs> Full power to women, and we'll be back after a short break. As if to commemorate International Women's Day on the 8th of March, Anuradha Pal is breaking into what has hitherto been a male's world. With her new Talavadya Kacheri, Sri Shakti, made up of four very talented women, she enthralled audiences in Mumbai recently. Anuradha Pal has established herself as one of the bright stars among tabla players in the younger generation. She's a versatile soloist and a much sought-after accompanist. A disciple of Ustad Allah Rakha and Ustad Zakir Hussain, she has accompanied many renowned vocalists, instrumentalists and dancers in festivals in India and abroad. Well, I just wanted to have... Very nice. I think it was a great program, absolutely fantastic program. It is very unusual to see so many women coming together to play a program like this, and to play instruments which are male-dominated one, and to play them as well. I 
we would like to get together more and we hope that uh, there will be other organizations that will also give us the support and uh, encouragement to perform.